State your name for the record, please. Thanks. Great. Um, good morning. My name is Dan Gibbs, the Executive Director of the Colorado Department of Natural Resources. It's really wonderful to follow um, Will Schumer, fellow cabinet, cabinet member and a great champion for our environment in Colorado. Thanks, Will, for your, your testimony. I appreciate the opportunity to testify today on the administration's proposed changes to the National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA. I'm concerned that a number of the modifications proposed by CEQ will undermine fundamental aspects of the law that have made it so successful and result in significant native impacts to our state's environment and communities. First, I'm concerned that the agency proposes to remove the terms indirect and cumulative in referring to scope of relevant environmental reviews under the definition of effects in Part 1508. Second, I'm concerned about the proposed modifications to Section 1502, which impose time and page limitations on environmental reviews. In my experience, the plans and decisions we make on as land and natural resource managers are best informed when they consider a great number of influences, even if outside the project's immediate scope. By way of illustration, Colorado's, Colorado's arid forests and other ecosystems have evolved to depend upon a healthy winter snowpack as a reserve in the drier months. The persistent burning of fossil fuels, both within and outside our state, has altered the climate and disrupted this previously reliable seasonal cycle. Climate change also impacts wildlife habitat, including bighorn sheep, mule deer, elk, and pronghorn, which migrate to lower elevations to graze during the winter months. These big game are important to the ecosystems they inhabit and to the communities whose local recreation economies have grown upon them. Nearly 68% of the lands in Colorado are federal jurisdiction and provide critical important wildlife habitat. Wildlife management can only be successful if land use decision makers takes into account the long-term effects of proposed activities such as logging, drilling, mining, and even recreation, and climate change under the health of our forests and other ecosystems. Thanks to NEPA's current requirements to examine how a project or plan could contribute to environmental conditions outside its immediate scope, the public and decision makers can weigh the benefits of particular decisions against their comprehensive long-term impacts. On imposing time limitations on environmental reviews under Section 1502, the proposed changes would shift the public's role to later stage and review process, potentially forcing significant aspects of analysis to take place outside the public view. Likewise, arbitrary page limitations could reduce more in-depth analysis and review on the complicated projects or initiatives. For these reasons, I do not support the proposed document length or decision timeframe limitations on the environmental assessments and environmental impact statements. Colorado's com com communities, ecosystems, and wildlife have enormous stakes in decisions made by federal agencies operating in our state. I urge the CEQ to uphold NEPA's fundamental tenets and reject the sweeping changes put forth in the current proposal. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, received at number 14.